we have Katie. Let's see what she's shaking up. Thanks, Monica. I can't wait to show you all what we're gonna be shaking up in the kitchen today. For those of you that don't know, my name is Katie, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make your very own delicious treat to eat right at home during these hot summer months. So what we're gonna be making today is, wait for it, ice cream in a bag, that's right. So, in order to make this, we're gonna need a few ingredients, and we're also gonna need some supplies. So, as far as our supplies go, first we're gonna need some measuring spoons, just to make sure we're measuring out those ingredients the way that we need to. Next, we're gonna need two sizes of plastic bags. So, for the first, you're gonna want a gallon-sized plastic Ziploc bag, and then for your second one, you're gonna want something that will fit inside of that first bag. So for this, I have a quart sized, but you can definitely use a sandwich size bag if that's what you have on hand. You are gonna wanna make sure that they zip tightly closed for this particular recipe. Next, you're gonna need some a spoon because how can you eat ice cream without a spoon unless you did no hands ice cream. Next time. I would also have a bowl. You can eat it right out of the bag once we're done, but it's nice to have a bowl. You can pour it in there, add your toppings, all that good stuff. Totally up to you. Lastly, and this is optional, but I highly suggest a towel of some sort because when we're shaking up that ice cream, your hands are gonna get really cold. So if you use a towel wrapped around it, it's just gonna make it a lot more comfortable for you. Now on to our ingredients. So first, for our wet ingredients, you're gonna want one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You're gonna want one cup of a milk of your choosing or half and half. So for here, I have half and half, but what's really great about this recipe is that you can use any kind of milk that fits your preference. So you can use cashew milk, you can use coconut milk, almond milk, soy milk, whatever you prefer, but you will need one cup of it. Now onto our dry ingredients. You're gonna want two tablespoons of sugar. You can use regular uh, white granulated sugar. Granulated sugar. Um, here I have some cane sugar. Now you're also going to need about three cups of ice. This is of course gonna help make our ice cream nice and cold. And then this last part is optional, but you can use one third cup of salt. Now I found this large box of ice cream salt who knew that this even existed? I didn't. I found this huge box at my local grocery store for about $2. But if you happen to have some table salt on hand, you can definitely use that instead. Or you can just use the ice, totally up to you. And last but certainly not least, the toppings. Can't have ice cream without toppings. I mean, you could, but why would you? Sprinkles, I love sprinkles. All the sprinkles, please some whipped cream, and some maraschino cherries. But again, grab whatever you prefer. Chocolate chips, fruit, chocolate sauce, caramel sauce, strawberry sauce, it's totally up to you. So, now let's jump into how we're gonna make this ice cream in a bag. First, you're going to want to grab your small Ziploc, and in here, we are going to mix our one teaspoon of vanilla extract, our one cup of half and half or milk of your choosing, and our two tablespoons of uh, sugar. I right, got that all nice in there. Now this part, you're gonna want to make sure that there's no air inside the bag, you're at least not much air. You're going to want to get rid of as much of the air as you can. So I tend to close it, leave about an inch or two at the end, press it against your chest, push out the air, and then close it the rest of the way. So now it's nice and flat, there isn't an air bubble in there, and that is good to go. Next we're going to grab our large gallon sized Ziploc bag. And now in here, we are going to add our optional one third cup of salt and our approximate three cups of ice. Toss that in there. I like to give it a little shake. Let's get that salt. Just 
first. And then we're gonna take our ice cream bag, place it inside of our ice bag. And then again, zip your bag up, leave about an inch or so at the end, press all the air out, and close it. Now, you are gonna wanna make sure, like I said, make sure both Ziplocs are closed nice and tight so we don't make a mess. And then you're gonna shake this for about 10 minutes. Now, that's kind of a long time, not too bad. You can do about seven minutes, I've noticed, or 10, just totally whatever you wanna do. But that's where this towel comes in. Because holding a bag of ice for 10 minutes can get a little cold. So I just wrap this up in a towel and then I like to shake it up. So for me, I went ahead and made an ice cream making playlist. about 10 minutes so let's see how this ice cream looks all right so it should look something like this nice and firm so with this now you can just eat it right out of the bag if you would like or you can scoop it into that bowl that we showed at the beginning of the video okay so mine looks something like this oh yeah that looks delicious now the best part toppings time so I'm gonna go ahead and add my sprinkles. And like I said, I like a lot of sprinkles. Perfect. Next up, whipped cream. Shake that up too. Not for 10 minutes. Add Oh, yeah. mm. And last but certainly not least, that wonderful maraschino cherry. Here we go. Bam. Now, isn't that delicious? Ice cream in a bag, right at home, with not very many ingredients at all. And like I said, you can customize this any way you want, any kind of milk you like. Toppings. I'm sure you could add some chocolate in there when you're shaking it up, maybe some Nesquik chocolate to add a little chocolate ice cream. The possibilities are endless. So I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy this delicious ice cream. I can't wait. I need to take a bite of this right now. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, I don't want to say that I'm an ice cream connoisseur, but I love ice cream. Definitely my top dessert. And this is delicious. So, I hope you all enjoy. And right now, I'm gonna shake it back to Monica. That'll make us all scream for ice cream. Thanks for joining.